hear from people all the time that say, well, now it's February, and I didn't realize I didn't do my New Year's resolutions. Are you kidding me? It's just February. In my life, the greatest resolutions have been met not in January, not January 2nd or 3rd or 4th, but later on in the year as I rediscovered God's blessings for me. As I kept on, as I kept on walking without stopping, without giving up, but realizing that God's help is constant and it can come through me when I'm ready to receive. In Ezekiel 36, verse 26, it says, A new spirit I will put within you. Now, this is the whole key to have a new spirit in you to accept the goals that you want to meet, to have a new you that can have it without giving up, without letting go, I pray that this is true of you, that a new spirit is with you, that with God's help you can and you will accomplish your goals. You know that when you work with God, not only can you stick with your goals, but you can also achieve them. To start, let's decide right now what it is that we would like to achieve. And these resolutions could be short-term goals, such as losing weight or redecorating the house, or long-term goals, such as quitting a negative habit that we've had for many, many years, or starting a new positive one. And then, through regular times of prayer and meditation, we get set to receive the guidance, the energy, the willpower that we need to accomplish our resolutions. And whatever the goal or the resolution, we have faith that with God's help, we will succeed.